satisfying renders. To get this satisfying thing cooking, we're going to need two Bezier curves, one motion path, two sweeps, one plane, five Arnold AI standard materials, and one X-Gen description, or any other type of hair system will do, I guess. Start by drawing a curve, and make the ends equally curvy so that it's super symmetric. Based on that curve, use the sweep tool to create a snake. Crank the subdivisions to make the snake swanky. Make a new curve. Make this one straight and boring. Sweep again. Add subdivisions. Delete bad geo to clean up those busted edges. Grab the side faces of your swirly geo. Extract. Strewed. Add a plane. Set your gummy along a motion path from first curve and set the animation curve to linear. Bake. Sprinkle time. Make spheres. Shove and combine them into your gummy for extra flavor. Grab an off-the-shelf honey preset. Assign it to the gummy. Looks fine. Using the hypershade, plug a texture into the diffuse color. Invert the red channel and plug it into the roughness. It's cheap, but it'll work. That'll be marble. Play with subsurface because it's fun. Make wax. Now we add the big furry cherry on top. Create an next-gen description and name it fuzzy. More don't. Doesn't matter. Make the hair short. Make the width small. Set the density high. Really high. Add noise modifier. Add an Arnold hair material. Make it blue. Add some pink spec. That'll look good. Assign the same material to the gummy. It'll be fine. Add clumping. Ugh, too much clumping. Reduce clumping. I'll pet the gummy until its fur looks nice. Render and feast your eyes. That's a useful tutorial, right? Please like.